Dude, I need a uh, I need a Leon against Colby fight. I need him to defeat Colby. I need that to But happen. you think Colby would get a shot again? Yes. For sure, because besides Hamzat right now, like Colby is still considered the number one contender of Walter Wade out there. He's the, I, he's the I, one that gave gave Kamara the be, like the biggest uh really the the biggest fight was that one. What were those two? I mean, I already kind of consider Hamzat like out of 170. Um, yeah, but I'm t- I'm hearing rumors that he'll still come back for a, uh, for a title. Yeah, what well, I mean, when he's champion, maybe. But I feel like if you're talking about okay, this guy's gonna fight this guy, and then they're gonna get a title shot. I think Hamzat is either they're not letting him do it at 70, or he's looking at going 85 because I know he's been putting on uh, size. So I think the real fight is Shavkat versus Colby. Then whoever wins that gets the title. And I don't think Kobe Covington is going to get through Shafkat. After what he did to Jeff Neal, I don't know. I, I think uh, I think you could do Kobe against Leon. Leon beats Kobe, then Kobe against Sha- uh, Shafkat. But why, would you, why the, would you shelf Shafkat for that long? It's not shelving him. He still hasn't even beaten anybody in the top five. Give him a top five guy. Give him Kobe give Covington. Shafkat. Give Shavkat to Bilal first. You think Colby Covington should get a title shot off of one win against Jorge Masvidal? Well, I, no, but you're talking to somebody who believes that he also beat the former champ. So that, you know, former yeah, champ. Now it doesn't hold any. I mean, if Leon beats Usman again, so what you you know? Well, also you it, almost it, beat also, the guy that just got beaten twice. But it's also not just that. I mean. Dana White would stand in front of a room of cameras and say Colby Covington is the number one contender. I mean, he he literally said besides until Leon got that head kick knockout, it was Colby and Kamara like back and forth, back and forth, and everybody else was kind of beneath them in his in in his mind. So just because he's been out because of God knows what's going on in the court case and everything, like I don't know. I mean, I I, I miss a Colby Covington fight. That's for sure. Here's another question, though, because technically Kamaru is the number one contender. You think if he loses to Leon, he fights back to a title shot, or you think he just retires? Because that's also bo- you could also look at doing. Maybe you do the trilogy. I I know I was actually saying that earlier today. Like that's the only thing that would make sense besides retiring. He would either have to go back down to fight again to get back to the top for the title, and that would be a third fight with Colby. Yeah, and. I don't know. I'm kind of thinking if if the fight goes the way I hope it goes this weekend, then he retires. Cause yeah, because like you're looking at if he loses, yeah. yeah, if he loses and he's gonna take a fight in the top ten or whatever, right? Uh, he beat Colby, but maybe you could do the trilogy. He's not gonna take the Hamza fight. It doesn't make any sense. Uh, he might take the the Bilal fight. Uh, who knows? He beat Gilbert already. I don't think he would also take the Shavkat fight. And, like, then you're getting the Steven Thompson, Jeff Neal. Like, those aren't enticing for him to go fight that low. You know what I mean? Yeah. Him and Colby is always going to be a big fight, though. So, I, I could st- I could definitely see that happening. Yeah. Because that's always a, ma- a main event. Like, that is a... People want to see that fight happen again, for sure. It was an awesome and especially, fight. Especially if he's not the champion. Like them Yeah, that Colby's just going to talk so much trash. So much trash. Put them on a level playing field where it doesn't feel like, you know in the championship rounds like they're kind of helping the champion out which de- right. definitely feels that way sometimes. okay and you go back and watch those fights i get what you mean yeah yeah i mean that yeah that is a banger matchup it's just it's uh it's really the whole question at 170 is what the hell happens with hamza pretty much because uh, i think everything kind of clears up once that whole situation is through with you know it, it's such a it's like a shit stain on the division that no one yeah. knows how to deal with i hope that leon gets to keep the belt and then fights a few more guys that we're thinking right now are just levels above people that he's defeated before because like when you say mm-hmm. like barbarino and you say even like rda in his prime like th- those are great wins and you know nate diaz but like i want to know if leon can get through Kamaro twice and then beat like shavkat 
an actual another fight with Bilal while Bilal's, you know, fighting the fight that he is currently, you know, yeah. beat, beat Colby, beat all these guys, maybe even Hamza. Like, if he can do that, man, because there's nobody in this whole organization that I'd be happier for than Leon Edwards to be able to, like, walk through, not walk through, but... Yeah. truly defend the belt five, six times. Like, that would be an unbelievable thing. Yeah.